How to fix update KV5053657 failed to install in Windows 11 23H2 or 22H2? Hello friends, follow the steps to fix this Windows update installation problem. First thing first, try installing KV5053657 from Microsoft Update Catalog. Go to the video description and click on the link to Microsoft Update Catalog. You will reach this page. Here you find four links, two files are for 23H2 and two files are for 22H2. Determine which uh, version you have installed and what is your system type. For this click on the windows icon from the taskbar, select settings, go to system, scroll down, click on about. The system type is 64-bit operating system, index 64-based processor. I have installed Windows 11 version 23H2 and this file is for x64-based systems. So this file is for my computer. Determine which file is for your computer and click on download. Click on this link. Let the download complete. Once the downloading is completed, click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar. Go to downloads. Right click on the downloaded MSI file. Select open. Follow the on-screen instructions and install the update. First the windows update files will be copied to windows update cache. Then you will need to restart your computer. After a couple of restarts, the update will be installed. If this doesn't work, then modify services. Click on search. Type services. Click on services. Find Windows Update Service first. This is Windows Update. Right click on this service. Select Properties. Make sure that uh, Startup Type is Automatic. If it is not automatic, click on this drop down and select Automatic. The service status is running. If the service status is showing a stopped, then click on a Start. Otherwise, click on Apply. Click on OK. Right click on Windows Update, select Restart. Then look for Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This one, Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Right click on this service, select Properties, change the Startup Type to Automatic. and click on start. Click on apply, click on ok. Right click on background intelligent transfer service, select restart. Do the same with app readiness service. Right click on this service, select properties. Change the startup type to automatic and start the service. Right click on the app readiness service, select restart. Now come to cryptographic services. This one, right click on this service, select properties. Change the startup type to automatic if it is not showing automatic. And click on start if it's showing stopped. Click on apply, click on OK. Right click on the cryptographic services. Select restart. Close the services window. And now check for updates. Click on start. Click on settings. 
go to windows update and click on check for updates if kb5053657 is downloaded restart your computer to complete the installation run windows update troubleshooter the next method click on the start button from the taskbar settings go to system click on troubleshoot click on uh, other troubleshooters for windows update click on run get help app will be open select i can't download install or uninstall and update permission to run windows update automatic diagnostic click on yes if windows update diagnostic fail to run contact any customer agent otherwise close the window and follow the next method reset windows update cache first of all we would recommend to run a downloadable file to reset windows update cache because it is an easier method go to the video description and click on this link this will download a file in your default browser click on the folder icon select extract all extract right click on this batch file select run as administrator click on yes press any key to continue again press any key to continue to exit the process restart your computer and then check if the update is installed properly you can also manually reset windows update cache for this click on search type cmd select run as administrator click on yes go to the video description these commands will help you reset windows update cache copy the first line paste into the command prompt hit enter copy the second line paste into the command prompt hit enter in the same way run all these lines of commands and at last restart your computer and check for updates if this method doesn't work it means uh, there are some corrupted files in your windows and you will have to repair the system files two commands will help you repair system files and installation files run these commands one by one taking from the description copy the system files checker command paste into the command prompt hit enter let the verification 100% complete then run the dism restore health command copy from the description paste into the command prompt enter close the command prompt close the other running tasks and restart your computer then check for updates again uninstall third party antivirus right click on the start button select install apps find third party antivirus in the list 
if you have installed I have not uh, installed any third party antivirus I am showing you here an example suppose this is third party antivirus then click on three dots and click on uninstall again click on uninstall click on yes if any uninstallation wizard appear like this follow the on screen instructions to complete the removal after uninstalling restart your computer and check for updates you can try installing the update after clean boot click on search type ms config click on system configuration go to the services tab put a tick on the hide all microsoft services click on disable all then uh, switch to the startup tab click on the link saying open task manager make sure that uh, all the programs are showing disabled status if anyone is enabled such as this one right click on uh, the program and select disable disable all the program which is showing enabled and close the task manager then click on apply click on okay and select restart to restart the computer then finally check for updates if the preview cumulative update is downloaded restart your computer that's all friends thanks for watching the video